Hi everyone, I'm Shubham Javar. I'm a master teacher at Vedantu. We are discussing JE Advanced 2018 Paper 2 Mathematics. And the question for this video is this. Let there be a function f whose domain is 0 0.2 pi open and the codomain is all real values. Be a twice differentiable function such that limit t tending to x f of x sin t minus f of t sin x divided by t minus x equal to sin square x for all x in this interval 0 0.2 pi open. If f of pi by 6 is equal to minus pi by 12, then which of the following statement is or statements are true? So it is a multiple correct type question. There are four options and we have to find which of these are true or correct. Now clearly first thing that we would be, uh, you know, uh, bouncing at or we will be, uh, you know, attacking is to find the function f of x. And it's also again quite obvious that here uh, as t tends to x, numerator tends to 0, so does denominator, so we would be using L'Hopital. So uh, using L'Hopital we get limit t tending to x, mind it we are differentiating numerator and denominator with respect to t. So here it becomes f of x cos t minus f prime t sin x divide by 1 is equal to sine square x for every x in this interval 0 0.5 pi open. <coughs> now uh, basically it becomes as uh, t tends to x you have f of x cos x minus f prime x sine x is equal to sine square x and it is a linear differential equation and this can be solved uh, using linear differential equation concept using integration factor and all. However, there is a better way of doing this. You may just cross multiply sine square x. Anyway, sine square x is never 0 because x is in this interval 0 0.5 open. So here, uh, you may take it this way, f prime x sine x minus f of x cos x by sine square x is essentially minus 1. And if you see this carefully, this essentially becomes uh, d by dx of f of x by sin x equal to minus 1. So using question rule, you can easily uh, check that, uh, you know, uh, d by dx of f x by sin x is essentially f prime x sin x minus f x cos x divided by sin square x. Now, if you integrate both sides with respect to x, I would get f of x by sin x equal to minus x plus arbitrary constant c. Now here, uh, we know f of pi by 6 is equal to minus pi by 12. So uh, when you put x to be pi by 6, f of pi by 6 you will put to be minus pi by 12 divided by sine of pi by 6 is half. So basically it becomes minus pi by 6 on left hand side. And on right hand side, as we have put x to be pi by 6, it becomes minus pi by 6 plus c. So that clearly means c is supposed to be 0. And that also means f of x essentially becomes minus x sine x. Now few of the options, especially option A and D, are very quick, easy to solve. f of pi by 4. So as you put x to be pi by 4, you get f of pi by 4 to be minus pi by 4 root 2. However, here it is given pi by 4 root 2. So this is not true, hence not part of my answer. What about D? Here f of x is minus x sine x and uh, we, have, we are interested in f double prime pi by 2 plus f of pi by 2. So basically, we would be finding f double prime x. So if f of x is uh, minus x sine x, what about f double prime x? So f of x is minus x sine x. So that essentially means f prime x essentially becomes minus sine x minus x cos x. And what about f double prime x? f double prime x would become minus cos x minus cos x, so minus 2 cos x. Uh, plus x sine x. So what about f of x plus f of double prime x? So essentially uh, this will become, if you see carefully, minus 2 cos x. And as you yeah, uh, put x to be pi by 2, left hand side becomes f of pi by 2 plus f double prime pi by 2 and right hand side, since cos pi by 2 is 0, it becomes 0. So that essentially means d is correct. Now let's go for the C part. There exists alpha belonging to 0 open to pi open such that f prime alpha equal to 0. Now it is very tempting to use rules theorem. 
Uh, however, here f of x has domain 0 open to pi open and not 0 close to pi closed. So yeah, uh, what we may do, and there is a subtlety here uh, that we can take some other function capital F of x to be minus x sine x. Because minus x, minus x sine x is defined for all real values of x. So let me say there is a function capital F of x being minus x sine x uh, for every x belong to real. And on it, let me apply a rules theorem, so to speak. Yeah. And uh, we can clearly see capital F of x and a small f of x would coincide, would be the same when x is between 0 open to pi open, because small f of x is defined only for 0 open to pi open. Nonetheless, uh, you know, you may apply rules theorem in the interval 0 close to pi closed, capital F of 0 is 0, capital F of pi is also 0 because sine pi is 0. And it is continuous differentiable everywhere. So you may say there exists, you know, uh, some alpha in this interval 0 open to pi open, for which, uh, you know, uh, capital F prime x equal to 0 or uh, you may say capital uh, F prime, F prime alpha equal to 0 using rules theorem. And since uh, capital F of x and a small f of x coincide in this interval 0 open to pi open, so you may say there will be the same alpha for which, uh, you know, a small f prime alpha would also be 0. So a bit of subtlety here, uh, just to emphasize, I have taken it capital F of x, otherwise you would have just gone uh, with this uh, small f of x also. So that means c is correct too. Now uh, let's check b. f of x less than x to the power 4 by 6 minus x square for all x in this interval 0 open to pi open. So here uh, essentially I have been asked to compare f of x with x to the power 4 by 6 minus x square we uh, want to explore whether f of x is less than x to the power 4 by 6 minus x square in this interval 0 open to pi open. Now what is uh, f of x? Uh, f of x is essentially minus x sine x. So we want to explore whether this is less than x to the power 4 by 6 minus x square or not. Essentially we want to compare uh, you know sine x with x cube by 6 or I should say x minus x cube by 6. If you divide both sides by minus x yeah, uh, because since uh, x is supposed to be between 0 open to pi open, uh, x is not 0, so you may divide by minus x, which definitely would be negative, and the sign would reverse, and you get like this. You may even write this as 3 factorial. Uh, so we want to compare sin x with this, essentially, for x being between 0 to, uh, you may say, pi open. Now, there may be different ways of commenting upon whether this is true or not. So let me consider a function g of x as sine of x minus x plus x cube by 3 factorial. Now here I can clearly see g of 0 is 0. What about g prime x? It is essentially cos of x minus 1 plus x square by 2. Now cos of x minus 1 would be negative or rather I should say non-positive for all x. However, uh, x square by 2 will be non-negative. So here we can't say for sure whether g prime x would be always positive or not. Or for that matter, always non-positive or not, or always non-negative or not. We, we, we can't uh, comment for sure as such. So let's go for, uh, you know, uh, one more differentiation. However, before doing that, let's note that g prime 0 is 0 again. Now what about g double prime 0? Oh, my bad, g double prime x. It's minus sine x plus uh, x. And this is a very popular expression and we know this is positive for every x greater than 0. What to speak just about x being between 0 open to pi open. So that means uh, g prime x is increasing in x being between 0 open to pi open. That means g prime x is greater than g prime 0 for every x between 0 open to pi open. g prime 0 is 0, so that means g prime x is greater than uh, 0 for every x in this interval 0 open to pi open. That essentially means g of x is increasing, which in turn mean g of x is greater than g of 0 for every x between 0 open to pi open. 
that essentially means since g of 0 is 0 g of x is greater than 0 for every x uh, in this interval 0 open to pi open now what is g of x g of x is essentially sine of x minus x plus x cubed by 3 factorial so for this to be greater than 0 for every x in this interval 0 open to pi open that means sine x is greater than x minus x cubed by 3 factorial for every x in this interval 0 open to pi open which in turn would mean f of x less than x to the power 4 by 6 minus x square for every x in this interval 0 open to pi open. So that means this holds indeed in this interval 0 open to pi open. So that essentially means b is correct too. Now let's see uh, an alternate to uh, you know prove that b is true. We may say the uh, method that we'll be uh, using now is related to the method which we have just now used. So here what you may say is you may say or we may start with sin x less than x for uh, every x greater than 0 and also for you know x belonging to 0 open to pi open because it is a subset of x greater than 0. Now starting with this we can uh, you know draw our conclusion that means we can reach option b. So here uh, we can say minus sin x will be greater than minus x for every x in this interval 0 open to pi open and let me not write this again and again this is understood. So uh, let me consider this that uh, since this would hold minus sin t ka integral with respect to t from 0 to x would be greater than integral minus t dt from 0 to x. So that essentially means cos x minus 1 is greater than minus x square by 2. That means uh, cos x is greater than 1 minus x square by 2. Let me write it again for every x in this interval 0 open to pi open. Now again what will I consider because of this I may say integral 0 to x cos of t dt is greater than integral 1 minus x square or my bad t square by 2 integrate it from 0 to x uh, this would hold too. So that essentially means sin x is greater than x minus x cubed by 6 for every x in this interval 0 open to pi open. Now since x is in this interval 0 open to pi open it is positive minus x is negative. So if I multiply both sides by minus x the sign would reverse. So that means minus x sin x which essentially is f of x only would be less than x to the power 4 by 6 minus x square for every x in this interval 0 open to pi open. So hence we have uh, you know again proved that uh, f of x is less than x to the power 4 by 6 minus x square for every x in this interval 0 open to pi open. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for the uh, next question.